After 15 minutes charging, it's now 15 volts. Let's now try if we can charge this. In my last video, I showed you that this battery, which is particularly to my Hexa drone, is not actually charging. I have this balance connect error. And when I check it with the voltmeter, the voltage is less than 1 volt. So it's very drained. But there's no bloating or anything, so I think this should be still safe to charge. So I will try to revive it using this charger as well. So to do that, I will instead of using a LiPo battery charging profile, I will try to change it to a nick to a nickel metal hydride or NICAD battery charging. NICAD and nickel metal hydride are constant current chargers, CC mode. It doesn't have any constant voltage operation, so when you're charging these types of batteries, the NICAD and the nickel metal hydride, you just pump in current on the battery. So what I will do, my plan is to pump a small amount of current, which we can also call something like a very small trickle charge, so that we can pump up the voltage of this battery. And if it's enough, that would be and enough to be detected by the LiPo profile instead of the nickel metal hydride or nickel or NICAD, then you can charge it again. So let's try to revive this by boosting up its voltage by putting a small amount of current in it. So let's try that. Now we're, we connected the main output of the battery and now let's try to start. The current is 2.0 ampere. We need to set this to the smallest possible we can. So we need to set that to 0 0.1. We will start on that and check the voltage, what will happen on the voltage. Then we can press start. As you see, from 0.5 it's now 1.2 and slowly going up. You need to treat each battery as a, as a dangerous piece of electronic component. So this one is something that you can use. It's a LiPo guard bag in which you can protect your battery when it's in storage or sometimes even if you're just charging it, you can put it inside as well to protect, your, to protect yourself from any kind of danger that the battery can cost you. So now the battery is actually inside. Let's put it here on the side. And now let's see the charging that's happening here. We're now 1 minute and 18 seconds and the, the, the voltage is now 3 volts. After 11, and 30, 11 minutes and 30 seconds of charging, still we're on around 4.9 volts. So let's see the battery if it's still okay and nothing is wrong. It's not bloating or you no know, puffing happening. Just to check it physically. It seems to be okay still, so we can continue doing that. By the way, doing this has some level of risk that it's up to you to take. Because some of the batteries are... Because the battery is really flat, we cannot guarantee that it will still behave the way it does, the way it is before. So just be careful doing this revival of batteries. Like this one, this is a very big battery. Now that we reach 5.3, I'm really curious on what is the cell, the, the voltage of each cell of our battery. So I will pull it out and check the cell voltages, the cells voltages individually. I already I already checked the cells of each the each cells of this battery using this connector. And this is what I found out. One is 1.04. 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, and then there's the last one that is 0 0.6. This is something weird because supposedly they should be really not that far away to, to one another. But now, I realize that I want to charge this a, bit, a little bit on a much bigger current input. So instead of 0.1, I will try to pump this up to 0.5 ampere. Now it's 0.5 and as you see, the voltage is now much higher. Let's see what will be the effect. After 15 minutes charging, it's now 15 volts. Let's now try if we can charge this using the LiPo charging profile. Now we're on LiPo battery profile. Let's now start and we're now 22.2 volts and for the charging current, let's just make this a little bit lower. 
Let's start with one ampere first and see if it will charge. Still have a battery balance connect error, so I think we still need to do some measurements here again. I did check the cells of the battery individually and it turns out that the last cell, which is this one, the 0.643, is dead. And the voltage now is 0 volts and the rest are actually 2 and 1, but this one goes back to 0. Much lesser than the one that we start before at point where we stop at, six, at, at point 0.6. So basically a revival for this battery is a failure. And... Yeah, this is kind of sound of a news, so I have to replace that. I hope, I hope you find this video useful and interesting, even though it's a failed revival. And I hope you can still subscribe and watch all my future videos. Bye-bye!